Are you ready to commit genocide? Who the fuck starts a conversation like that? I just sat down. Hi, welcome. Welcome back, or welcome in general. Uh, my name is Sesh, Sesh Tho, and uh, we're playing Risk of Rain. Um, I need I need a dopamine hit. I'm gonna be honest with you, I need a dopamine hit. So, I'm coming back to the old Risk of Rain. A staple on my channel, if you didn't know. I, I play, I had a whole, I had a whole season of just this game. And I'm coming back for a rehash. Uh, I decided just to play NG. I've been playing uh, a few things in between. Just finished off the Dark Souls series that I did. Really, really good. A really, really good Dark Souls series. Loved it. Absolutely amazing. Learned so much from it. I'm a, I'm a stronger man because of it. A different man. And, um... Yeah, now that, now that that's done, I'm in that endless limbo of what the hell do I do? And I just decided, hell, let's do like a filler. Let's do a little bit of Risk of Rain, just like the old days. And see how it goes, see what happens, see what wacky adventures we can get up to. Pennies? Okay, maybe that's a good item. I do like pennies for early game. Pennies? is the way to a healthy bank account. Especially for someone like me who gets hit all of the time. I don't know why, I just I just constantly get hit a lot. Must be something about, I don't know, just the way I look. Do I look funny? Do I look strange? I do look sort of like Mysterio from Spider-Man. Other than that, I can't think of anything. When did I pick up fireworks? <laughs> Apparently I picked up fireworks. Okay, let's have a look at this build right now. So we have, uh, let's see, we have armor piercing rounds. Okay, we like that. Fireworks, okay. Two energy drinks, so plus 50% sprint speed. That's great. Pennies, awesome for financial gain. Nor's Tome. Same as above, and then a goat's hoof. So right now we are a speed demon. The only thing we're missing is just damage. Raw damage. Might be a jump in the gun a bit, but I think I think this might be the move. A preemptive strike early on. Should be able to get through this fairly easily. Go to Newt. See if we can grab anything of use. And then... Win, I guess, is, is the main goal. Winning is the goal. Oh, but it feels so good to play as NG. My beloved NG. Ooh, boss item. Amazing. Titanic Null. So this basically boosts your health and regeneration. Uh... If, if, okay, so if you haven't seen anything in regards to my Risk of Rain stuff, uh, like you haven't, this might be your first time on the channel, or the first time you've seen any Risk of Rain stuff in general from me, it, it's, it doesn't really have a structure, there's no structure, there's just the game and I, and we, we do things and we shoot things and we, we kill things. I, I will try to do my best to explain the decisions I'm making and sometimes I might not be able to say it properly. I, I waffle a lot, but I will try to explain items where I see them and sort of explain what they do and how things might synergize well, just because I feel like sometimes this game can be quite confusing if you're not binging it and absolutely getting hooked on it like I did when I first got it. And it just might help to hear, you know, a suggestion or two. So that's what I'm going to do when I can. Right now we're in the... No, we're not in the void. I was going to make a... I was going to make a bold statement there. Right now we are in the bazaar. It's just a... Um... One, two... I don't have enough items. You can't take me away from it. Please. Don't take me away from it. I need it. It's a little bit redundant because I don't have Bungus. And 
essentially when you play NG, uh, you just want Bungus. There's this little green mushroom. This tiny, tiny little green mushroom. And it just does everything you could ever want it to do. It does everything. It is the best, tiniest, most amazing little mushroom you could ever find. And I need a lot of them. <laughs> the goal, the goal here is not really to, to get a lot of damage. It is to stack as many bunguses as I can. And when we find a bungus, I'll explain what they do. For now, we need to find one. That's the thing. So, so put your hands together in unity or whatever. Get yourself in gear. You know, pray to somebody out there that this chest here, the $64 chest, has that little green mushroom in it that contains the hopes and dreams of this entire run. God, this feels like such a Zelda song. This feels like just such a Zelda environment. Just in general. I wouldn't say Breath of the Wild. I think Breath of the Wild has become so much more like floating islands and giant landscapes. I would say more like... This feels like more of an Ocarina of Time. Maybe a Majora's Mask type setting. Anyway, we have our money, we have our funds. Please. Yeah. I um I don't want to talk about it. Betrayal comes from the last place you would ever think of. It's often it's often the uh, friendliest knife that does the most damage. Hmm. Actually, Leeching Seed might be good. Leeching Seed might be good. It's it's probably the best alternative for what I'm trying to do. But it's more like a band-aid rather than medical care. It'll do the job for now. Those fireworks are doing a lot of damage though. My word. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but we're throwing balls at each other. <laughs> it's ball on ball massacre. I mean, if, if I take, okay, so if I take a, a proper look at the stuff we have, it's not bad. It's not the best, but it's not bad. We do have quite a bit of survivability and the focus crystal, this thing here, that that's a decent, you know, damage ramp up from just having a general base uh, damage thing. More medcare. Yeah, great. Sure. Free healthcare is the best healthcare. I do think that I have a bit of time here to farm up some items, so I'm probably gonna just see wasn't supposed to do that. Oh, my goblin, my goblin brain. My goblin brain to just pick up everything, just triggered. I was not meant to pick that up. PSG is just terrible on this build because we want to stack health so that we can regen health. We use the health to make health. Topaz brooches are fine because that will just build a barrier off of kills. So that's great. That's perfectly fine. And then if we get something like Aegis, which is a legendary item, that will stack up as well. But the main crutch of this entire build, which I guess you could argue if you need a crutch for your build, it's a pretty shit build. <laughs> or, you know, you are a very questionable player who can only rely on one meta. But I like playing with Bungus, man. I, I like it. I like it. And nobody's going to change my mind on that. We're getting everything else that we need. Seriously, we are. We are getting everything else that we need. Except the Bungus. 
So this narrative for this for this run is going to be the engineer's journey to find his shrooms. 100%, that's it. The head cannon for this run is NG has a low shroom supply. His dealer is probably eaten by someone. Maybe a jellyfish got to him. Maybe the dune strider sucked him. Yeah, I realized that that sounds pretty weird coming out. But it's... You see, I'm, I'm at a crossroads here. Because while that sounds weird, it's not inaccurate. The dune strider does suck. Uh, regardless. And now he's just decided to come out into the wilderness and say, fine, I'll do it myself. The shrooms have to be acquired and I don't care how I do them or who I have to kill to get to them. That's the headcanon. RNG is on that withdrawal symptom. Provides a whole new level of strength. When you're determined, when you're really determined to get something, there's an inner strength that gets pulled out of you. And nobody can tell you where it's come from. Nobody can tell you how it got there. But it's there. Lurking under the surface. When you want something so badly, you will move mountains to achieve it. Some may call that passion. I call it an addiction. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing exceptionally well. A death mark? That's going to be really good. Um, I'm trying to see what else we could do. So we missed our chance to get a rejuvenation rack. That would have been really, really good early on. But I think it was just way too early to be getting a rejuvenation rack. So that's just... Mm, that's just... Uh, I, can, I can let that one go. We need to get Aegis maybe. Uh, Shattering Justice would be good. I know right now these probably just sound like words... But trust me, if you stick with me, if we find them, I will explain it. You're not going to be left hanging while I just chuck algori algorith uh, algorithmic formulas. That's the word, algorithmic. That's the word of the day, algorithmic formulas at you. Yes, I'm not going to be doing that. I will break it down the very best I can while I'm sipping on my apple juice. Oh. Apple juice does a man good, I'll tell you that. I do have an utter disdain for the stinky map. This map and me just do not get along well. And it's not entirely my fault, it's the map's fault. 100%. <laughs> it, it is. I think this map is horrendous. It just, it, it looks like vomit. It, it plays like vomit. The enemies are like... <gasps> Um, ah, uh, tough decision ahead. Tough decision ahead. Mum's credit card or recycler? Mum's credit card or recycler? I feel like recycler will have a lot more utility, but I feel like mum's credit card will have more practicality going forward. How about, okay, hold on. Will this work? This might work. If it does work, this would be a big brain play. If I get mum's credit card... No, fuck. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> I was thinking, if I got mum's credit card, and basically what that does is, um... It allows you to buy all three items in a shop without shutting them off. So you know normally you buy it and the rest shut down. They're like, nope, one per customer. Instead, this card basically says, hey, I'm a VIP and I want everything and they have to say yes. The bank has to give you the loan. They have to give you, you know, they have to say your credit is good. But if you don't believe me, observe. Oh, I don't have enough money. One second. Observe. Ob observe. Observe. One item, ah, 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 two items, ah, 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 I don't have enough money for the third item, ah, 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 ah. Generally, it's just like a rule of thumb. I know this is only medium difficulty, so it's not, you know, there's no real need to just be like, oh, gotta get this, gotta get that, gotta rush this, gotta rush that. But just as a general rule, to make the runs more likely to be enjoyable, rather than having to restart every two rounds or something like that, 
I just like to rush the first three waves or first three uh, stages. Then I get to stage four and I just loot up everything and then I feel happy about myself. Because now at least I've got a decent chunk into the game and decent items and the difficulty is not too hard so my power scaling is still fairly balanced with the, with the enemy scaling. So let's go get that last item and I believe the teleporter was up at the top. So we grab the teddy bear. Love me a teddy bear. Can't sleep without one. And there we go. We'll place down another turret. Just wait for some clearage of these blind pests. Banes of my existence. And now we have Zyconstruct. Ugh, the coward. The cowardly Zyconstruct. It hides in its shield when it feels pain. The most cowardly of things, but luckily I have harpoons. This is another reason why... Actually, I haven't even talked about this, but I take the harpoon just because it's a lot more utility. It has, it has so much more utility. The, the, the bubble is great. The bubble's great for when you're doing multiplayer. But for solo, when you need that extra damage, yeah, a harpoon, a harpoon is so much better. I mean, a, a little engineer can only do so much throwing his balls at things, you know? It's, it's, it's tough. But I love NG. NG is my beloved. He's just so good at solo play. You can, you can do a solo run with him, or you can do like a, a multiplayer run, and he'll fit in just fine. Solo, he's great, because he has two other compatriots. Leptin Daisy, Hog. Best item in the game, no, there's no difference of opinion. It is the best item in the game. If you disagree, you're just factually wrong. I'm sorry, you are. I apologize for your incorrect opinion. But I digress. Engi, great character. Solo play, he has two minions to help him out. His turrets gain all the items he does. It's a very healthy relationship. And in multiplayer, well, for me personally, in multiplayer, I like to take a more passive role. Because obviously in multiplayer, you're all fighting for items. It's, it's difficult because there's... So the one, the one gripe I have with this game, which I'm not sure if it is really a gripe because I can't really see a fix, is the multiplayer loot scaling is just non-existent. It always feels like someone's getting shortchanged, whether they died in the beginning and everybody else powers up because of it and then they just kind of never escape that sort of limbo where they're just floating waiting for the next death so that they can just backseat game but essentially what I'm trying to say is that when you play NG in multiplayer you only need one item it's Bungus and it's an item that not everybody has a deep appreciation for Huntresses they don't value the Bungus. Commandos, they don't understand the Bungus. Mercenaries, they don't have no need for the Bungus. And loaders, they don't want the Bungus. Nobody needs the Bungus except NG. So, it just makes sense that when you're playing multiplayer, take a more supportive role if you're playing Engineer and just hoard the Shroom. Hoard it. Hoard it so that as you stand still, your healing radius encompasses the planet. Be the support that your friends need. Because we all know that there are some of our friends that we play with, or maybe you don't. Because there are some people that we play with that just don't seem to understand boundaries. And they love to run into a horde of enemies and get themselves killed. Now I have meat on my chest. Look how beautiful I am. T-bone steak. Raw. Just how I like it. So let's let's focus on finding this teleporter. And we'll work our magic from there. It wouldn't be down at the bottom because we spawned there. It's it's never where you spawn. That's just a fact of life. So, might be in this box. <gasps> finally! Finally! 
Vindication. <laughs> so we have our bustling fungus. Bustling fungus, heal all nearby allies after standing still for one second. So that's what it does. It's this green circle that heals. Now why is that such a good item on Engie? Because his turrets, Engie's turrets, these magical little boys here, they share Engie's items. And these specific turrets don't move. They don't go anywhere. And what's the condition for Bungus to activate? That you stand still. So basically, as long as these turrets are up, they will always have healing procking on them. So if we stack enough Bunguses, these turrets will basically be immortal death machines. They'll take whatever offensive items you have, they'll take whatever defensive items you have. They'll never die, but they'll keep killing, and it's it's glorious. You can just AFK after that. 100% AFK, everything is great, and I guess you don't really have a need to play the game anymore. Huh. Where did all my money go? There we go. Pop. Pop. There we go. A little too far away, preferably what you want to do is put them over each other, make like a Venn diagram, and then it's basically double the healing. But I think we can get away with it. Just a hunch. In my 400 hours, which is basically baby time. Uh, excuse me. I'm going to hide here. Thank you. Well, I didn't need to hide. My turrets are actually seriously committing war crimes. We got so boosted with damage items that the final time we have Bungus, it's 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 a glorious day. And more leeching seeds, so that means we're already getting a lot of healing just in general from attacks. A few more syringes and essentially we can hit like a 10 health per second uptime on the healing procs. I'm nerding out and I'm I'm unapologetic about it. It's it's brilliant. When you when you do it and when you see it and when you live it, it's great. It's hundred percent great. I think that's the that's the alchemy of a roguelike game. To see your your sort of amalgamation sort of formulate throughout the run. And it might be total shit. But when you get that run that works, it's it's a glorious thing. It's it's absolutely glorious. So they're proking about Yeah, they're proking about eight. About ten. Ten ten total. Ten HP total. Lepton Daisies are proking. I can add a third layer of healing to that. So if we do 8 times 3, that's about 24 proc per second. I'd say that's a very, very, very good amount of healing. We have health kits too. And then there's also the uh, on-kill effects, like the Topaz brooch over here. And then there's the leeching seeds. So these turrets can really take a hammering. Grandfather. It is my turn to watch the TV now. Please relinquish your control over it. I want to watch cartoons. Ma! Grandpa's fighting me for control of the TV again. You don't want to give it up. Oh, he's praising the sun. Ma! Grandpa's praising the sun again. Holy crap. So yeah, my turrets were basically kind of sort of maybe out healing the the Nova. They did die. They did they did actually die. But I think there was a point. I kind of caught it out of the glint on my eye. Um I caught a glimpse where hey mom's credit card. Uh Jesus, so much speed. Where they actually um, had like a burst heal. And I think that might have been for my elixir. Also, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the thinking thing again. Uh, let me just take a sip of apple juice to make sure that I'm thinking properly.
Damn, that was really good. I had to finish the whole thing. Um, now I'm thinking a loop might not be such a bad state of state of going to. If that makes sense. I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're looping, basically. I could take these. That actually might be quite good because I don't need crit. So the insta kill might be. Insta kill might be interesting. So that's Lost Seer's lenses. They are a corrupted item, and they're the corrupted version of the uh, crit glasses. I forget what they're called. But where the crit glasses basically increase your critical chance by 10%, the Lost Seer lenses have a 0.5% chance. Where's my PSG? To instantly kill an enemy. And that will stack. Per, per thingy majiggy. Yeah. And, uh. It's just a debate about what has more utility. Most of the time, flat crit will have more usage. But if you have a high fire rate, then. I would say go lost seers. So, like for my turrets, for instance, they'll just fire out bullets like crazy. Each one of those having a certain chance to just instantly kill something. That just seems like, uh, you know, taking advantage of a high stack of probability to just reap the maximum reward. So that's what I'm going to do. Love this song. This song's so great. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I think I think we can go for a cheeky loop. It's only been 37 minutes. And for the first time I think I will edit these videos. I usually don't edit my Risk of Rain videos. They're more of a long form content where I can just kind of like let loose. But I think I'm going to edit it. What the... <laughs> what happened here? Hold on. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, I fell through the ground. <laughs> Ma. <laughs> Ma, grandpa sent me through the ground. <laughs> that's, never, that's never happened to me before. What the hell was that? <laughs> I lost my elixir. <laughs> and I can't even be mad about it. I... I, I, I... <sighs> Man. What, what do you say to that? So how did you... So how did you lose your elixir? Um... I fell. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes. ATG is brilliant. I love ATG. Nothing is better than hitting something and having a whole missile being shot at them. What's the chance on that? So it's a chance to fire a missile. And I believe it is a 500% damage missile. And it increases by 500% for each missile, each um, stack you have. So ATGs can go to ridiculous numbers. Stack that with a pocket ICBM? ICM? I, I, am CB? I, I, I don't... It, it's, it's one of those letter arrangements. I don't really have the energy to remember it. I, 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 to be honest, I don't care. It just adds more rockets. It's where the frames really start to drop. And so do enemies. So let's take care of old jelly bag here. There we go. And now probably just find TP. We're probably just going to rush these first few stages. There's nothing really here that warrants any exploration. Just go, go, go. What would I lose? Ah, no, there's some things I can't lose. Maybe I should just get some scrap. See how that works. Ooh, maybe void fields? 
That might be a shout. Let's try void fields. I think I have enough. Ay. Ah, Damn it. Okay. I do have double jump, right? I do have double jump. Okay. Let's try this this the slow way. Okay. One. And then. Two. Really wish I could have kept my watch though. That's a substantial amount of damage right there that I've just lost. I wonder if I can do this on one fungus. Safe and possible. Ouch. Let's try it. Let's let's give this a let's give this a little uh, a little bit of a a try. That bleed is stacking so disgustingly. Ng's balls, I think, stack bleed insanely well. Holy guacamole. I didn't realize I lost the I lost both my turrets to the ball edge. Drop some drop some mines. Okay, nice. Uh sticky. Sticky's good for that extra damage. Grab this. Ooh, oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, where would they come from from here? I think they can't cross there. They can't cross that. They'd have to come from here. So we put one here. One here. There we go. Okay, yeah. Great placement. And then we just stack more bleed on the scroungers. Nobody should be coming from the back. If they do, then fair play. They made a very, very, very tumultuous journey. Lepton Daisy, Pog. Take the bleed for sure. Hit that. Sort of heal up. That was definitely worth. Poor, that healing is great. Amazing. Alright, let's grab this item. Another focus crystal. Lovely, an extra 20% damage boost when the enemies get too close. We'll have them watch back to back and watch the madness of Bubbers. Oh, so many Bubbers, so many Bubbers, so many Bubbers. And then Lemurians. And to be fair, backup mags is one of the best things I could have been given because it's, it's, it's useless on these guys. They don't do anything. I mean, maybe the Lemurians. The Lemurians are probably the worst things here. Just because those guys, my god, they, they just walk into your house, eat your eat your food, and, and tell you to go away. I don't know. The Bobbers aren't that bad. They teleport behind you, slam down. Not too bad. The Apothecaries, if you can just move to the side, you'll avoid their balls. It's pretty explanatory. But Lemurians... The Murians are just built different. Especially the Elder Ones, they just, they don't care. <laughs> they don't give up monkeys. I want this. Ooh, I haven't even got a single gasoline. That's insane. This build hasn't even reached its peak. 
Now we can hang one sort of here overlooking the cliff where they'll come from there. And then we'll need one sort of here. And that should be good. I didn't check the back. The back refilled the mines. There we go. Ooh, I didn't see the little squiggle things. So they've been added. I just need to keep moving in a circle. Gyrate. Circulate. Rotate. The turrets will handle the rest. Maybe. One of them's half health. Nope, back to full. Love it. I love seeing it. Lepton Daisy, maybe? Lepton Daisy, do the thing. Lepton, please. Turrets are gone. My turrets are gone. My turrets are gone. Oh, brother. There's a little bit of a problem here. But I survived. I did it. I'll take regenerating scrap. Oh, that one was hairy. Okay, that one was definitely a little bit stickier. Uh, okay, this shouldn't be too bad. This is just kind of one here. That's one here. And then, gotta wait for the cooldown. Oh, no. I'll be back in 20 seconds. Ooh, there we go. Chop that there. And let's do this. Let's rumba. Red whip. Okay, that that might not be too bad. That might be okay. It just means that they'll be fast on the approach, which to be honest, Bubba, he already teleports, so he can't get any faster than that. Alright, we're at 50%. Drop down our mines. And then just keep up those bleed stacks. And that should that should just fix everything. Fuck. <laughs> oh no, that was a good run as well. Ah go overzealous. Every time. Every time. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that was that was a nice fun run. So uh, a quick run. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm just, I think with this, I'm just waiting. I'm just doing this to pass the time, and then I think when V Rising comes out on May eighth, I think I'll make a series on that, and I'm just gonna go head deep into that. Cause I'm really looking forward to that game now. Now that it's fully releasing, and um, yeah. Just a nice whisk of rain run to hit the nostalgia. Not really much to say, so I'm not really good at outros. And I'll see you in the next video I decide to make. Bye-bye.